My name is Julia. I'm known as Jules on the forums and I don't have a background in science at all. Um, I have a background in um, managing and working with volunteers but in a very different way to the Zooniverse volunteers. I worked in the UK voluntary sector for many years. So it's quite interesting being a volunteer myself now. I um, grew up in the Apollo era, so I developed uh, a lifelong interest in astronomy because I grew up when space flight was pretty common. It was very common to send humans to the moon when I was growing up. And about seven years ago, I was looking to get more involved in astronomy and I was browsing the web, maybe to look for an astronomy club or something, and I came across a project called Stardust at Home and got immediately involved because that was the first time I'd heard the phrase citizen science and they wanted scientists, citizen scientists, to log on and look for particles of dust and they provided this brilliant interface for us to do so. Then, about two weeks later, uh, Galaxy Zoo launched and the rest is history really because I signed up for that and that was seven years ago and in those seven years I've taken part in possibly 30 citizen science projects um, and I get to do lots of cool things like be here today. Yes, because I don't have a science background, I didn't really, I suppose, know what science was. But by participating in citizen science projects, I've come to know what the, the science process is. The, the data analysis, the, the, the research elements, the paper production, the, the peer review. So my whole knowledge of the science process has, has developed from being a citizen scientist. And one of the other things that's grown out of my involvement as a citizen scientist is that I've actually gone back to learning. I'm now learning about science via the Open University and future learning courses and learning all the things I didn't learn at school. So that in itself has been worth, worth its weight in gold for me being a citizen scientist.